The remains of late Chief Matthew Onyebuchi Okeke were laid to rest in a poignant ceremony at his ancestral home in Abudu, Oguluku government area of Enugu State. The funeral, which drew a significant gathering of families, friends, and dignitaries, was a testament to the profound impact Chief Matthew had on his community and loved ones. Born in 1952 to the family of late Mr. and Mrs. Onyebuchi Okeke, Chief Matthew's journey began in Abudu, where he completed his basic education. His early years were marked by a spirit of enterprise as he traveled to the northern regions of Nigeria to engage in trade. It was during this time that he met and married his beloved wife, Mrs. Patricia Okeke, with whom he shared a fruitful union blessed with seven children. Chief Matthew's political career was notable. He served as a member of the State Executive Committee of the All Progressive Congress in Enugu State and held the position of State Chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alias, APGA, and Oganiru Enugu. His dedication to public service and community development left an indelible mark on the lives of many. The internment ceremony commenced with a wake on the evening of October 24th, followed by a funeral service at St. Luke's Anglican Church, Abodo, officiated by Right Reverend Benson N. The service was filled with heartfelt tributes, prayers, and reflections on the lives of a man who was deeply loved and respected. Their presence underscored the esteem in which Chief Matthew was held across political lines. In an emotional tribute, Mr. Atochuku Okeke, the first son of the family, described his father as a selfless, upright, and kind-hearted. He expressed gratitude for the close relationship they shared and urged his siblings to remain united as they navigate through life challenges without their father. Um, my father was someone who loves seeing people happy and uh, makes people to laugh all the time. And he never believed in um, oppression, oppressing people, and um, he believed so much in equity. He likes uh, intimidation in any form or manner. Um, like I do as well. Um, he doesn't do grudges. He loves telling people what um, they did wrong without uh, going further. So he rather call you out than shy away from it. So that's one of the traits uh, I think uh, I took from him as well. What happened here on Friday is a testament to the kind of person he was. So he's the man of the people uh, in this village. There is no uh, person in this video that doesn't know him. So he was loved by his people. And that's why a lot of people came to pay last respect uh, for him. So my relationship with him was very cordial until the last uh, breath. He makes a very big vacuum, a shoe size that will be difficult to fit in. But uh, I have no choice than to take the lead and uh, see what I can do and with the help of God and his wisdom and knowledge um, I'll be able to manage and bring the, uh, the family together so I will implore my siblings to come together and uh, know that uh, United is stand divided before so and we have a very big vacuum to fill in for the next generation to carry on and I pray that with God on our side, we achieve. And my prayer is that God will give him eternal rest. Uh, I want to use the opportunity to thank um, my siblings and my in-laws for their support and for the love they showed. My prayer for them is that when they call one, time, a, a, or one person, a thousand will answer for them. So my prayer for people that visited and uh, came for this uh, occasion to mark last respect for him is that they will, uh, they will get honor whenever they desire or demand for it. Even beyond what they pray for, God is going to surprise them. And my family too, 
I pray that prosperity, uh, health, long life, and prosperity, and protection of God Almighty uh, will be upon every one of us. Mr. Uche Nzekwe, the CEO of UU Uche Sin Investment Company, West African Limited, and a son-in-law to Chief Matthew, praised the late patriarch for living a life worthy of emulation. He encouraged the family to uphold the peaceful legacy their father left behind. Uh, it's really a very good life, so I think they are giving me a more fitting burial. Mm. Whenever he's happy, whenever he's there, he must be happy there. It's a quiet gentleman and a very person. Mm. It is, it's a way to keep a very okay. He can't have anybody alive. And he cares about his food. Mm -hmm. So now we have everybody here. My prayer is that his, his, may his soul rest in peace. Perfect streets, wherever it is. And I pray, I pray to live that kind of life. I see the kind of age. He uh, leave a good legacy for people to emulate. Mr. Ezemwa Albert, another son-in-law, emphasizing Chief Matthew's good nature and urging the family to honor his memory by continuing his legacy of kindness. My son-in-law is a generous man. He doesn't play a game. His word remains his word. If you tell him yes, it is yes. If you tell him, say, I'm backing you up for this thing you brought before me, that is his word. So we have been relating very well. You understand? So every now and then he keep calling. How are we feeling? I say, okay. We are thankful. So to God Almighty, uh, it's a very big blessing to me being their son in law. And they too testify to it in the glory of God. So my advice to the family is that they should emulate the footstep of their father. You understand? Which I know that they are already in the track because his son having you know come out with his sisters and other brothers to organize this kind of a barrier. I tell you they are unity. And my prayer for them is that God with his infinite mercy that knows the ending of everything from its beginning. We perfect that which has started their life. Honorable Tochuku Chuku, CEO of Ogama TV and Radio Limited, also shared his grief, recalling Chief Matthew as an accommodating figure who welcomed all with open arms. My father in law, when he was alive, is a nice man, he's a good man. He's a man that anybody who met him. I will testify. The first time I met him, that was in 2009 or thereabouts. So the, from the first moment, so I noticed that he's a, a good man. Then leading to my introduction, he did a lot of wonderful things that I will not forget. You know, so he made things easy for me. You know, so and uh, from that moment, I took him as a father. And uh, each time I need advice, I always call on him and he will always be there to give me advice that always help me to do and be who I am today. So he's a good man, a good family man, who loves his family, loves his children. And uh, my wife is one of the favorite child, so, and I noticed it because of the way, the, the connection they have. So. In all, I can say that he's a man that I can also call a father. Well, um, the advice is very simple. Their father is no longer here, but their mother is still here. And they also have a, a unique family. They have their other brothers, who is also a father to them. So the most important thing is when your father dies, you keep on the, uh, the family legacy, keep on the peace. Uh, nobody should uh, try to debate. They should continue to be a unity in peace and they continue to trust in God. Uh, their father died, but it's not, uh, it's not gone completely because the spirit is still with them. And so I know that they will continue to direct them uh, as long as they 
continue to keep to the family's legacy. So, um, so they should still love one another, uh, take themselves as one, as one big family they are. So nobody should uh, try to to do uh, anything otherwise. We should unite and do things as one. Uh, what I fear is, is uh, that we should continue to keep them united as a one family. Uh, so we should have peace and also pray for progress, uh, pray for love, uh, pray for uh, blessings. The death of their father should be a blessing to the family so they will not say, ah, if my father is still alive, this thing would not happen. So it will bring favor, open door to the family. A close relative, Mr. Okonkwo, expressed optimism that Chief Matthew So was at peace and encouraged the family to honor his memory by remaining united. We did a funeral on the 25th of uh, October 2024, which we are all happy that everything went according to plan and uh, we didn't have any obstacle in terms of helping makers, in terms of winning and other things. So we keep God in view for granting us the wonderful day for the funeral. And uh, we are thanking God for his journey on this earth and beyond the earth. Because wherever he is, he will be happy that he will see a befitting bear from his children. They gave him a befitting bear, which is the most important thing. He will be happy in the land of the dead. His first daughter, Mrs. Neka Nzekwe, spoke of their father's unwavering support and love, describing him as a gift from God and an incredible father who always sought the best for his children. Mrs. Nkem Tochuku Okeke fondly remembered her father-in-law as a guiding light and loving grandfather. While Master Ezenwa Izuchuku, his first grandson, reflected on his grandfather's honesty and leadership qualities. She always knew that the uh, uh, it's him, that the family is very strong. He's a good leader. My prayer for him is that uh, their spirits continue to be and live among us and guide us as we go. As for the family, I pray that we live longer life to see to see more children too. <laughs> Mrs. Amaka Chuku, a daughter of the deceased, reflected on her father's incredible nature, stating that he always wanted the best for his children. She thanked God for her father's life on earth and prayed for the repose of his soul. Similarly, Mrs. Odeli Iforma Christie, the youngest daughter, shared that Chief Matthew was more than just a father to her. He was a source of unwavering support and unconditional love, noting that he will forever hold a special place in her heart. Among dignitaries in attendance were Senator Osita Ungu, represented by Honorable Emeka Ude, the Enugu State PDP Chairman Dr. Martins Chukunwike, Honorable Tony Mwanko, member representing Ogu South in the Enugu State House of Assembly, among others. The event was further enriched by the presence of various music groups and masquerades, which added a vibrant cultural torch to the proceedings. Friends, in-laws and well-wishers shared memories, stories and laughter, celebrating a life that was full of love and service. Chief Matthew Onyebuchi Okeke, who passed away on May 24, 2024, leaves behind his devoted wife, seven children, numerous grandchildren and legacy of equity and peace that will resonate in the hearts of many. The family and community bid farewell to a man whose impact will be felt for generations to come as they pray for his eternal rest in the bosom of the Lord. <laughs> I'm
When you think of online TV and radio, broadcasting, media consultancy, event coverage, event management and planning, there's no better name than Ogama TV. But that's not all. We're also into photo studio and coverage, equipment rental, news blogging, fashion and pageantry. We are at number 5 at stroke 21 Chime Avenue, beside Open Sheraton Restaurant, New Heaven, Enugu. Follow us on our social media handles, Facebook at Ogama TV, Instagram at Ogama TV One, Twitter at Ogama TV, website www.ogamatv.com. You can also send us email at ogamatv at gmail.com. Ogama TV, your one-stop media solution.